Welcome back to the lecture series on kinematics. This slide here summarizes what you have learned so far in this lecture on kinematics. You should have acquired a good understanding of what is linear and angular motion and their respective quantities that we use to describe the kinematics properties. To wrap it up, I think we need to establish the kinematic relationship between linear and angular motion as these are common motions employed in real life engineering applications. Now let's take a typical pulley system for illustration. This is the pulley and this is a weight. Now as the pulley rotates in the anti-clockwise direction, it will displace the weight linearly in the upward direction. And this linear displacement S is actually this linear displacement over here. Now, our objective is to establish an equation that relates theta with S. And based on the principle of proportionality theta over the entire angular displacement which is equals to 2 pi must be equal to the linear displacement s over the circumference of the circle and by simplifying common factor we will derive or rather arrive to this relationship or equation s is equals to r theta. Now that we have established the relationship between linear displacement and angular displacement, let us take derivative of the kinematics quantity ds over dt and likewise on to the right hand side d theta dt ds over dt we are differentiating displacement with time and we will get linear velocity and d theta dt is the derivative of the angular displacement and we will have omega and in the same fashion if we differentiate with time again on the velocity relationship and likewise do it on the right hand side we will get the relationship of the acceleration between linear and angular and this summarizes the set of kinematics equation that relate linear to angular quantities we have come to the end of this lecture series on kinematics Kinematics, again, is the study of motion with no regards to the forces causing the motion. The four quantities that are used in kinematics analysis are time, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. And in this lecture series, we have learned that VT graph or the velocity time graph is a powerful tool that we use to analyze and solve kinematics problems. So you have covered the linear motion as well as the angular motion. And we have also looked into how we actually link linear with angular motion with this set of equations. I hope that you have enjoyed the lectures and I thank you for your time and attention.